Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What I want to talk about today is something that you've experienced, I've experienced, most people around you have experienced. It's a very natural feeling. It's called fear of failure. I'm just going to uh, talk about this through my personal experience. The best way to overcome fear of failure is to, like I always say, take failure in a more positive way. I know this is cliche and you've heard these things so many times, but fear of failure can only be overcome when you start understanding why fear failure is important. Why does it happen? Obviously because of a lack of confidence because a lot of times in our life we've been bullied because of something or maybe we just feel like we're not pretty enough or cool enough for this or we just don't have it in us and that mostly happens because of people passing negative comments around you or people around you are just generally judgmental like when you sit together they pass very judgmental comments about other people. Also because of bachpan kill issues or just bad experiences or just lack of exposure. Okay so first of all how I got myself to overcome fear of failure when I first had to start vlogging putting yourself in front of the camera and that too I already had 10k people following me so putting myself in front of the camera either making a complete idiot out of myself or actually being able to do it it was a very risky thing but then I thought about it like this which I think you should do every time you're about to do something and you feel like you might fail ask yourself what's the worst that could happen okay people will might judge you people might laugh at you and then what they'll get over it in a couple of days so what it will happen people do forget everything becomes history at one point and the thing good thing about life is it moves on every day is a chance to redeem yourself you can learn but the thing is that you can't quit dreaming because you are afraid of failing the other thing that i want to say is that failure it is something that is going to happen nobody in this world has not experienced failure. But I tell you, failure is a good thing. Failure means trial and error. So you try, you fail, try something else. If you're not going to try, you'll never know what actually supposed to be doing. So if you think you want to sing, act or dance or be a debater or just want to maybe, you know, raise your hand in class and answer the question, uh, but you might be too afraid that it's wrong, then just know that when you're going to ask a question in class or give the wrong answer in your class you will get something out of it you will get your correct answer so you just have to remind yourself that failure is not a bad thing and you kind of have to put it in your head failure is inevitable and it's going to happen but it is what is eventually going to help you achieve your dream it's kind of like failure is what actually uh, leads you to success the first thing i said was that you could you know tell yourself what's the worst that could happen so another thing you can do here is to reframe or reorganize your goal so our problem is that we have very dramatic goals for ourselves for example when i first started i did not have a goal of being a big youtuber one day what my goal was that if even one person is able to take something good out of my snapchat videos and stories my objective will be achieved and that's how i started one person at a time i wanted to change the way people think so i kept that as my goal the good thing about that is that when you have a big dream but you make small goals for yourself they're easy to achieve when you're able to achieve small goals you uh, get increased motivation you keep going but if you keep dreams so big and so difficult everything that comes in your way will feel like failure you will not see yourself achieving anything and that will obviously lead to lack of motivation your intention also matters if you're doing something passionately or you know that you can actually do it or that it's, it's, it's really your dream then it's easier to overcome fear of failure because you're like okay this happened but I still have to do it I feel so strongly about it so I'll try doing it this way or that way and then you know you eventually get there I never had this goal of being able to have 50,000 followers someday. My goal was always being able to help people spread my positive vibes. That was my goal. That started happening with what two vlogs where people started telling it's helping them and I kept doing it and I kept doing it and today you know I'm here. Sometimes it's unbelievable. I'm not saying I'm some big shot celeb but I did not even imagine myself getting here with those little annoying snapchat stories. If you're able to overcome fear of failure you are bound to reach big places because trust me that's the one thing that's holding you back we all have more potential than we realize we think yeah okay maybe we can do this but i can never be that but trust me by doing small small things you you get somewhere and you don't even realize how it happened that's because you overcame your fear of fa failure you learned from your mistakes you always took failure as a lesson but it's best to be very realistic about failure 
that it will happen. Overcoming fear of failure means you have to step out of your comfort zone and you have to go out there and you have to do what you want to do. To be honest, I've tried so many things. There have been so many times that I have stepped out of comfort zone. I have been on the stage, I have done acting, posting, or singing. I have played football. All of it, every single time, I was scared but I went for it you're supposed to just go for it even after uh, i just started my youtube channel even though i had come really far with snapchat and my blog and everything and my instagram i was really scared before starting my youtube channel people have way too many expectations from me now what if my youtube channel fails what if people don't like it but i don't give myself another choice I tell myself I have to do it. I don't have a second choice. And at so many points I want to step back because I'm too scared. At so many points I wanted to step back from playing football because I thought I wasn't good enough. But the moment that I give up fear of failure and the moment I feel confident that if I just give it my best, I can do it, I'm actually able to do it. When you stop being scared for some reason, somehow you do it. Isn't that how it works? For example, you can dance in alone in your room like, wow, like, like, you know you can pull out all those moves and everything why because you're not afraid at that time that someone's watching or judging you so it's not like you don't know how to do it it's just that you are so scared of people and what they think and of failure that you think you don't know how to do it I mean, you can bust the same moves in front of people but if you just get rid of that fear the moment you start thinking about fail failing your confidence will drop your talent will also drop but it just it just goes side by side the moment you feel confident you are able to do it like no one's watching and that's how that's how you should do anything when i first started my rotation in surgery department because i'm a dentist so we had to do all, all these extractions and to be honest i wasn't all that good at it compared to other people and i'm i'm generally a slow learner so it was taking me some time to get used to the forceps and get used to the elevators those are our like in instruments and i was afraid i was afraid of failing and i was afraid of admitting but I decided that I can't give up. There were so many points I would feel like giving up. And I failed so many times. I did end up asking for help, but every time I did, it, it felt really bad to fail. It felt really bad to not be able to take out a tooth that I knew other people could. Like, acha, kyu mushkil kyu hai? And I wouldn't have an answer because this other student would find it very easy to take the same tooth out and I would be too afraid to admit because I knew I'm a slow learner and I can't do it. And then I would take help and a supervisor would take it out. I would make sure that I learned something from that. At the end of my surgery rotation, I was doing just as well as everybody else, but it just took me some time. So I'm just going to list down a few things now. Tell yourself what's the worst that could happen. Nothing's going to happen. It's going to be all over. What you're going to learn from it is better than what's going to happen. It's okay if you failed. You learned something from it because that is that is actually a stepping stone for you to get somewhere. Third, make small and achievable goals for yourself so that you have more motivation. Fourth point is that don't compare yourself to other people. It's natural. We all have our own pace. We all have our own way. Some of us are more confident. Others are less confident. Some people are naturals. Others are not. Some people are more intelligent. Some people need to work hard. So don't compare yourself to other people that are in the same situation just tell yourself okay I can't do it this person can do it but I can keep trying and maybe I can learn from my experiences and trust me it's not even the best thing to be successful at something like this because you don't learn you probably just got lucky but a slow pace and a slow learning process and learning it's it's much better it's a more zada now to me zada concrete if it just keeps working out for you you're just lucky you're not exactly learning you're just lucky. I say this again and again. It's my favorite thing to say, but I believe in it so much that we have to start somewhere to get somewhere. I had to start with not even knowing how to kick a football to actually you know be a striker in my team. You can never be good at something shuru say and be successful at it. That is stupid. So have realistic expectations from yourself, but also remember that nothing is impossible. And I mean it. You know, I just started the charity drive. I was very scared if people are going to respond to me and people are going to if people are going to show up for my charity drive. I was scared. Then I thought 
जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम स्केर्ड के लोग नहीं आएंगे मैं करूँ ही ना एक अच्छा काम इज इन दैट रॉन्ग बिकॉज आई एम स्केर्ड पीपल वॉन्ट शो अप आई वॉन्ट इवन ट्राई डूइंग दिस चैरिटी ड्राइव एंड इट को टर्न इन टू समथिंग सो ग्रेट एंड देन आई जस्ट गॉट सच एन ओवरवेलमिंग रिस्पॉन्स गॉड विल रिवॉर्ड यू if you have good intentions and god will reward you if you work hard so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i really really hope you got something out of it subscribe to my youtube channel if you still haven't and uh, remember guys positive vibes only